Hey, and welcome back to my channel. This week, I'm cooking easy, affordable, delicious meals for my family. And make sure and stay tuned to the end because the most delicious meal of the week only cost $3. You gotta stick around and see this. Tonight, we are gonna make some stuffed peppers. And I found this quinoa in my pantry. If you watch my pantry inventory, you see the quinoa. And I thought this would be a great filler inside for these stuffed peppers. So I just made the quinoa according to package directions. The flavor was roasted red pepper and garlic, which I thought would be delicious with stuffed peppers. So after I got my quinoa started, I browned up a pound of that ground turkey and I'm going to add a can of Rotel into that ground turkey. I'm going to give that a mix. This is for the filling for the peppers. So I'm just going to give that a stir. And then I have a teeny tiny bit of this five Italian cheese blend that you probably saw in another video. I'm just going to pour that in just to use that up. I'm going to mix that in. And then I'm going to add just a couple scoops of this quinoa just to kind of feel, um, make this feeling a little more filling, I guess. And then we're just going to use what's left on the side. So I washed and halved my peppers. I have my oven preheated to 350 degrees. And now I'm just going to stuff my peppers with the filling. Once I had all of my peppers stuffed, I did cover them with foil. I'm not topping the cheese yet because I want those peppers to kind of steam. That's why I'm going to cover them with foil. I'm going to put those into my 350 degree oven for about 20 minutes. And then I'm going to remove the foil and I'm going to top my peppers with whatever cheese you have on hand. I happen to have a little bit of mozzarella on hand left over from my game day appetizer snack video. So I thought I could use that up. But any cheese that you have on hand would be delicious on these peppers. So after I covered my peppers with the cheese, I put this back in the oven for an additional 10 minutes. And here are my peppers out of the oven. You can see how melty and delicious this was. We served this with a side of that quinoa. This was definitely delicious. So tonight's meal is a take on a Reuben. I have these corned beef packages. These were 50 cents each. I have a can of sauerkraut. I have this block of Swiss cheese that I'm gonna be using and this loaf of French bread that was only a dollar. And so I'm gonna take my French bread. I have my griddle heating up, but you could certainly do this on the stove in a pan. I mean, it's just like making a grilled cheese. So as I assemble my sandwiches, I'm going to add some Thousand Island dressing that I had in my fridge. I'm going to spread that around onto the bread. I love the taste of Thousand Island. I really like Reuben. Some people don't, but I like the flavors together. And then I'm going to take some of the corned beef and I'm going to layer that on top of the Thousand Island bread. I was not sure how this corned beef was going to taste or work. It really tasted delicious. I was very surprised. So next I'm going to take a couple thin slices of my Swiss cheese. I think it would have been better if I shredded it, but I didn't. I just sliced it, so we're going with it. And then I put on a couple spoonfuls of this sauerkraut. And then I topped the sauerkraut with two more slices of the Swiss cheese. And just because I love this flavor and I like things saucy, I put some Thousand Island and spread it around on the other bread. And then I'm just going to be grilling this sandwich up like you would a grilled cheese. So, of course, I slathered one side with some butter. And then when I put this on my preheated griddle, I put the buttered side down and then put butter on the top unbuttered side and then we gave them a flip and here you can see them on my griddle and all that oozy goozy goodness oh my goodness this was delicious you can see here all of that goodness oozing out i served this up with some sweet potato fries this was delicious 
The next meal for the week, I'm going to be doing some sausage and potatoes. So I had a few gold potatoes left from another week's groceries and I have my sausage. So I'm going to make this as a sheet pan meal. So after I washed my potatoes, I decided I'm going to chop these up. I didn't want them to be in too big of chunks because you do want the potatoes to get cooked through. So as I'm prepping my potatoes here, I'm going to show you they're about I don't know, this size, I think that's going to work good. I'm wanting this to bake in about 20, 25 minutes. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep chopping my potatoes and getting those on my sheet pan. Once I have my potatoes all on my sheet pan, I am going to go ahead and start chopping this one last green pepper that I had left. So I'm just going to chop this green pepper into chunks and throw this onto the sheet pan with the potatoes. Next, I'm going to start cutting up my sausage. This was a very good deal at Walmart. And so I'm just taking this smoked sausage and cutting them into probably half inch little rounds here. I'm going to be adding this to my potato and pepper mixture. Now that I have all of my ingredients prepped, I'm going to give them a little dash of olive oil and then get my clean hands in there and just give it a zhoosh, just to make sure that all of the veggies and the sausage are coated with that olive oil. And then I am going to use some salt and pepper to season with. I'm going to use two pinches of kosher salt, and then I'm going to use one pinch of black pepper. I also found in my pantry, it was way back in the back, some Cajun seasoning that I've had for a long time. I don't use it very often, but this is Louisiana Cajun seasoning. So I thought sausage, peppers, potatoes, sounds like a Cajun meal. So I sprinkled that all over it. And let me tell you, that made the difference. Oh my goodness. I wasn't really expecting myself to love this dish as much as I did. It was delicious. So I put it in the oven at 425 for 25 minutes. This is what it looked like when it came out. See the caramelization there on the sausages and the potatoes. Guys, this was delicious. Very surprised by this. My family loved it. The potatoes were tender. Oh my goodness, you definitely have to try this dish. And now folks, I am so excited for you to see this next recipe. It only costs $3. So tonight we're going to be making a meatless taco soup. So I'm going to start with a 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes, a can of Rotel tomatoes, and a can of this seasoned black bean. I'm also going to be using some frozen corn and a taco seasoning pack. I'm going to be putting all of this into my Dutch oven, but I wanted to say if you wanted to be able to make this meal with no refrigerator, substitute the frozen corn for a can of corn. So I add in my black beans. I did not drain or rinse them because they were already seasoned, which is going to help me with seasoning this dish. Next, I'm gonna add in my can of diced tomatoes. That's kind of like Rotel, but it's a great value brand. And then I'm gonna be adding in my can of crushed tomatoes. After adding in that can of crushed tomatoes, I think it was 28 ounces, I added in the 28 ounces of water to my soup. Next, I'm going to take this package of frozen corn and I'm going to dump that into my soup. But again, if you wanted to make this without the use of a refrigerator, just use a can of corn. I would just drain the corn before I dumped it into the pot. Next, I'm going to take that taco seasoning packet and I'm going to pour the entire taco seasoning packet into my pot and then I'm going to give everything a good stir. Next, I'm going to take my big pot of soup. I'm going to take it to the stove, let it come to a boil, and then turn it down to low to simmer. And here is my soup on the stove. It is a big pot of soup. And let me just tell you, the ingredients for this soup only cost $3.30. And this is probably would feed six people. Here is my bowl once it was finished. I just let that simmer for about 30 minutes. Guys, this was delicious. This was the most flavorful meal of the week. 
And it was also the cheapest meal of the week. I, I'm, I'm, sh I'm shook right here. I'm sitting here trying to watch YouTube. I just ate all my bowl. This was good. Guys, for $3, you got to try this. So that was our meals for this week. They were definitely delicious and definitely affordable. All of the meals were around $5, but the taco soup, the favorite of the week, is meatless, and it was only $3, and it would serve six people easily. So that's all for this week. Thanks for coming and watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.